Hello everybody, welcome back to the single player world. I am here in the snow village, if you don't know where I am, I'm standing on top of the giant snowy mountains, which are, are kind of exactly half done. And uh, what we are doing today is we're going to be dealing with a few different sorts of things around this village because we're returning back to this for today because of course we haven't been here for a while. And before we get started with that, can I quickly just say thank you so so much for the really awesome response on our last video, it seems you guys all really, really enjoy that Hobbit area, and that's really, really cool. And not only that, enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making the video. I enjoyed doing this whole area, the whole Hobbit area. In fact, there's not actually any area I'm not really enjoying in this world, so I'm having a good time as well. So what we have got today is we've got a few smaller things around the place which are going to make very big differences, I can only hope. I'm imagining that they're going to make some pretty big uh, differences on a, on a larger scale. So the first problem that we have is kind of obvious from this angle, and this is why I wanted to start up here. Can you see this? Look at that. This jagged, very, very uh, ordered <laughs> way of this. So you can see pretty much everything. Actually, this is probably an easy way for me to see if I've placed a block wrong on one of these, uh, which perhaps is the case. Why is there nothing on there? Interesting. All right, so the snow is only falling on top of the top slab blocks. So for you guys who might not understand what I'm talking about, actually, we've got a slab over here. If we've got a block here, th then we just put a block. That's a normal block. If I put a slab over here, snow can fall on that. It can't fall on the slab. That's what I'm talking about. And that's the issue that we have because these slabs here are half slabs and you can't actually get snow on them. So my solution to that, and it also is a solution, I'm hoping, to a bit of the stuff around the floor because I think we've got way too much snow. Look at this. Let me go... That was unlucky. I kept falling one half a slab down and I couldn't activate my elytra. So we've got so much snow here and I really want this to be a, a slightly snowed up area, but mostly full of, uh, full of stone and stuff like that. So if anyone's got a better idea than what I'm doing right now, please let me know because I'd love to hear this idea because I think my idea's got some pretty big flaws and it's, um, it's going to work. It's going to work. And that is to put in a bunch of string like this. So you can see the string now that I've pointed it out. It's probably kind of obvious. Uh, but if I didn't point it out, you wouldn't notice it. And as you walk through, string over there, not, not a big problem. The only problem that I have with this, or well, two problems, which I can see, is this bounding box when you look at it. But then again, you've also got a bounding box on every other thing. So it's not really a big issue for that. The problem that I think we are going to have, in this world at least, with these, is that we're going to have a lot of these, which I'm fairly fairly certain are treated just like normal tile entities so they might cause us a little bit of lag if we've got a lot of these things around here so uh, you can see actually i was placing them around here let me just put them back here so don't forget but uh, i think this could work if we just maybe block off a few areas like that i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna place multiple layers of snow so we also have multi-leveled snow which is going to be a lot more interesting than what we've currently got uh, but most importantly i think this is going to help out the roof Alternatively, of course, I could just use a bucket of water and clear this area up every time it snows. That's also, that is a possibility, actually. So, let me try it out on that roof over there, the bakery roof. I think that's probably a good one to test on a smaller scale. So, we'll do that there. I certainly hope we don't see too much of the snow uh, from, not too much of the string from that d distance. There we go. There. There. And another thing we could do, which I'm not a I'm not 100% certain I can pull off, actually, is where these half slabs are, we could actually make these. So say I, I got rid of that. I could actually make this a snow layer, like, on top of each other, so it looks like a, a snow-layered half slab, which could actually work. I, I'm not against that, actually. It could could very well work. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that and pull it off properly. So we'll do that for now, and we'll go up there again and check it out. I think this is going to look good. Just, I don't want to see the string. Because, of course, it's the, the white string on... Yeah, it doesn't even load from here. That's definitely better. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with this looking a little bit better. So, this is kind of one of the, the easier things for today. I've got a few other things which I want to do. And this is kind of the theme for this, right? So, we've got these buildings in here. We're still going to be doing a few more buildings in this village. It's not finished with the building of buildings. But it is kind of getting there with the layout of, of things. And that was what I wanted to get my head around. And what I wanted to kind of confirm what I wanted to do in here. So what I want to make today is a lot of small things around here, which is going to bring this place to life, I hope. So for instance, let me let me show you the sorts of things which we've already got here. This barrel, for instance. This, this village, as I say, is a self-sustaining village, so we've got a lot of options to put stuff around. 
But we've got this barrel over here, and this is just a, a random barrel. I actually still have to name it. What uh, what is the ale inside the barrel? But what I think is a, a good idea is to put things like this that look like people work here. People have got things going through this village. For instance, producing ale. Uh, another few things, for instance, the bakery. We could maybe do something here and say, like, what does the bakery do? You can see we've already got some chests over here. Chests, uh, crates. I'm not actually a big fan of the, the chests, though, because they just don't, they don't quite do it for me you know they just they look a little bit a little bit tacky the color at least same as these which i can only hope get updated in the next uh the texture update which which we still don't have but i, I think that will be really really cool so a few things like that i want to get done and also a few for instance barrels and stuff yeah i just I had to do that uh, a few barrels and things around here would also be pretty cool so what i'm gonna get going on right now is i'm gonna go and well i'm gonna go ahead and get some things together so we can do quite a few things at once. I'm also going to string this place up so we have something to look at. So I've gone ahead, I've thought about a few more things with this. And I, uh, this idea is pretty much done now. We, I'm not going to be touching it for much, much more. But have a look at this. There we go. That's what it's looking like. You can see that there's pathways where people would normally be walking. I kind of considered, why would snow not be in places? You know, you can't just... I was, I couldn't just place it and just hope for the best. I, I had to have some thought behind why I was doing it. And I think that's a good reason. So the reason is because people walk there and that makes sense. It's really a, a pretty, pretty easy thing to think about. And now that I've got that, I'm pretty happy with it. I think the only things that need to be done is maybe a bit more layering on the snow. For instance, here, you can see it's very, very flat. I could probably do a few more things like that, put it up a little bit on the edges and then slowly work my way down to a fairly, a fairly low level over there like that that'll work there we go stuff like that we can do that around the place looks a bit funny now without this done oh and that's gonna happen a lot perfect all right then once once we've got this done now i decided i wanted to build a one of these things a, a wagon and the reason i wanted to build the wagon here was i thought about a little bit further of course obviously with the the trade path that we've got here the trade route from that area there to this area here and the trade from there taking wheat. And I thought it was kind of cool this one here stopped with wheat in it. And right down there you can see it. And I thought it would be kind of cool to have one in here as well. That's uh, part of the part of the route that there's not only one of them. It's actually two. And I thought that was also pretty good. And it looks pretty cool as well. Just to create a bit more story in the town. And that's really what the, the theme of today is I guess. Just adding in a few smaller pieces like this. Uh, to make a little bit more thought behind the town. What I want to do next is a little trick that I figured out. Was it last episode? It could have been the episode. Yeah, it would have been the episode before. Even the episode before that. And I think I'm going to have to go here and quickly grab some of these. Did this a while ago. Just never actually got rid of these. So this is where I've been getting all my wheat from. In fact, I've actually got to do an update to uh, to the, the wheat in my texture pack. Which is one of the few things that are changed. Uh, first of all, I want to get it to be a little bit more lighter than the color it is. And then also what I want to do with that. What's up with this lighting glitch? Do I have any? I've got some torches on me. Uh, yeah, then besides that, I also want to add in... Okay, cool. We'll, we'll leave that there. Uh, I want to add in the textures for the, the bottom pieces here to be green. So when I place these, look at this. It goes yellow. That's wrong. These should be green. These should be green. I don't know why I've not done these green. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fix that up to be green. And besides that, then I guess that is all the crops. Fairly, I'm, I'm fairly happy with all the crops at that stage. But pretty much that one I want to be a, a light gray brown sort of color. I think that looks a lot more like what wheat looks like. And it, it shouldn't be too hard to get to. So let's go back here. And also, of course, the yellow is a bit obnoxious. That's the That's the other thing. So let's go make some of these, and I want to show you what I what I figured out a few episodes ago, which I thought will be a nice little thing because I'm not very good with my my small objects in the world, you know, for instance, like uh, boxes and crates. I, I tend to forget about these things, and they really do look really good when they finish. Like these ones here, a few of those there. It's just some stuff that I think is is very important to have, and I think I've got everything on me. I do, and one last thing I need, some of those there what we're going to do is we're going to do some wheelbarrows and i thought wheelbarrows are a pretty cool looking thing and i'm going to be doing it with some of this just to make it look like like this is being pushed around so if we do that there put one of these here there and there it looks like a pretty cool wheelbarrow 
maybe maybe just something flat against there would be probably all right. But yeah, I, I thought that looks pretty cool. And then obviously that there. A nice little thing. As I say, I'm not very good with the smaller, smaller objects in the world. What else? Like, I've got a few other things on my list. I've got a list, actually, now of things that I want to try and make. Small things in the worlds. And I think probably find crates and adding in a few more things like that will be good. And obviously a few trees would be good to break that up. So what I want to do now is I want to probably put in a tree in the middle over here to break up this area. I know it seems kind of weird, but we'll have one tree in there, perhaps, just to break it up. Although, you know what? I'm changing my mind on the spot. How about a little bit of a rock? A little bit of a rock in the middle because this area is very flat. And I think that's my issue. Not that it needs a tree. It needs, it needs something to break it up. I think maybe a rock would do the trick here. And they are actually one of the few things I think a lot of people can get to put in. So let's do some rocks. Right about there. We need those. We need... I think I've... Oh, I've got some there. Perfect. And then I guess some of those. So let's just do one of these. And you'll see what I mean. It just makes this area look... A lot more broken up. Where is my... I take it this is a cleared out area. There we go. There we go. There we go. Those. There. No. Wonderful. Okay. So let's check this out. Does this look a little bit better? I hope it's not too big. Yeah, that'll work. It just breaks it up a little bit more. And then of course the next stages will be the, the inevitable. Adding in some bushes around the place because the bushes look... Absolutely awesome once they're around the place. There we go. And I really love the oak. The oak leaves work so well in this with a little bit of the blue texture. I've mentioned it before, but I love that blue texture that they got. There we go. Some of those. And some over here. Then some other things that I was thinking which would be kind of cool to add into here. Let me just step back, make sure it's not too crazy. Yeah, I like that. Actually, you know what is another thing I need to change? If I do change the wheat texture, I need to change it on here as well. I'll, I'll have to get onto that. Let me, let me think about that. I'll get onto that. So yeah, that, the other things that I want to do are a few flower beds, which I'm not too sure are going to work in this area here, but they are things that I've, I've got on my list. So one day when I'm wondering what to put in, in the world, I can just do some of them. I think they'll look really, really good. I went ahead and uh, finished it off. Okay, there's a zombie coming up there. I just decided to do it. So let me know what you think about this, by the way, guys. I was playing around with the, the idea of using this, which I mentioned in the last clip. And I thought, you know, why don't I just go ahead and do it? Else I'm going to leave it forever, not fix it up. And I want your, your advice. What do you think about this? I think this could work a lot better than the other wheat color that we have. This very yellow color, which is, in my opinion, a lot better than the green that orig originally comes from it. But uh, I, I think maybe, maybe what I need to do is put this as a complete green over here. So almost, almost the default, I guess. And once it grows up, it eventually slowly goes less green more of this kind of browny gray color which is which is kind of the color of uh, fully grown wheat if uh, if i am correct and just get it to slowly go along to that color i reckon that'll be really really cool then of course i'm going to use the same filter that i used on that one to make it that color i'm going to use it on these blocks here we're going to check that out as well uh but I'm, I'm not so sure whether we'll do that today but i need some advice just let me know what you guys think about this whether or not i should change that a little bit more maybe try find a better middle ground and that's, by the way, if you don't know about my texture pack that I use, it's pretty vanilla. I'm trying to keep everything as standard and uh, faithful to the game as possible. You know, I don't, want it, I don't want it to be too crazy over the top and, and lose the feeling of, of playing vanilla Minecraft. So I definitely want to keep that as vanilla as possible. But if you've got a suggestion, go ahead. I'd love to hear it. You know what? Why would I stop there? How about that? Look at that. That's the, uh, the final one that I've got for today, at least. Any improvements? I'd love to hear. But uh, I've, I've slowly got this going from this sprout coming out here to the next level. And we've got a good... Actually, I think we've got every single one. We've had it. We had at least at one stage. Yeah, every single one of these uh, for me to test out. And I love the way they're looking. You kind of go a little bit of a transition over to this one. And slowly to this one. Just This is actually the stage just before it gets to the full stage. You can see it's got that slight green tinge to it. Very, very lightly. And then it goes to this tinge over here. Which I think looks really, really cool. I like it. I like him. I wish you could actually keep wheat in its in its uh, sort of infant states for a while. That that looks pretty cool. I thought I'd just show you guys. As I say, any improvements, I'd love to hear them. And also, of course, here is the block, which looks pretty cool. I think. I think it looks pretty good. I had to change the bands on the side because they just looked ridiculous being all red and 
orange look in there. But that's that's pretty much it for the texture changes today. So enough about that stuff there. I actually want to take a step away from it. I know I wanted to do a bit more, but I actually think I've got some other stuff that I want to do here. So what I, what I didn't do, and if you guys don't know, let me just start from the beginning here. Let me just fill everybody in very quickly. This area here, the, the main kind of community area in this, in this town, this is where the people come to get their stuff to fight, where the... Uh, whoever leads this town, we I haven't decided what the title of the person is who leads this town, but whoever leads this town uh, operates from in here. We've got a, a pretty cool little design. I actually really like this design. This is probably one of my favorites that I've done so far in this world. Uh, on this side, maybe this side's a bit average, but the rest of it's pretty good. And what I want, what I did was I finished up the bottom. To some extent, I still want to do carpets and stuff around there. There's still a lot of things that can be improved. But when you get up the top here, this is a definitely not finished. And this is where I was planning on doing the offices of this area. So I thought we may as well get started on that. And what I want to do is I want to just get some things, for instance, like a desk, some of your basics in here, and then we can start adding in a few little details because we haven't actually done a, a piece like this, like an internal interior decorating type area in a while. So let me, let me give this a go. First of all, I want to try something a little bit different. And let me just do that of course the desk is not too different but what i want to try out and i hope this can work because if it does i'll be very happy uh, i want to try seeing if i can get a boat uh, to fit in here where i can hide the oars no can i not do that okay so it can't go any further unless i get rid of i get rid of this and try and push it down and try that yeah i could maybe try this with some pistons let me just do this Check that out. Uh, there. Okay. Well, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do that. I'm going to try this out. Because some pistons could normally work here. I'm just going to quickly get them set up. Let's give this a try. I've got the redstone... Oh, redstone running right across here. I think this should work as far as I'm concerned. It is going to work. So let me just push everything in. At once, just in case things move. The reason I want to do this is pretty much just because I don't want things to be moving around the place. I, in fact, I need to do... No, no, no. That, that will work. I was going to say, I need that on the bottom. I need that on the top. So I think that's in a good spot. Let me just do this. Okay. And now let me sit in the boat. <laughs> Alright, that could, that could work. That, that could work. It looks a bit dumb, but you know what? That that might might be all right. It's worth a try. In fact, if I could, I don't want to do that. If I could get this to be on a half slab, that would work. So if there's some way for me to push this up one more, I can actually give this another try. You know what? I'm going to give this another try. If I put that on a half slab over here and get it to line up properly, I think this could work. I think that's it. Let me give it another go. Everything in place. Bam. Did that just get pushed back? No, it didn't. It's actually part of it. Okay, let me let me have a look here. That works. That's alright. <laughs> a bit derpy, but it's alright. It's a, a somewhat functioning chair. I, I'm, I'm cool with that. Then the next thing will be to get a trapdoor, not a trapdoor, a uh, spruce door in the background there. That could be alright. A little bit of a, a little bit of a derpy thing. And you can't really notice these too much, so I'm, I'm not a, too upset with them being there. If so, actually, I could also just put in a, some trap doors, in that case, on each side there. But that's something a little bit different that you don't see every day, so let's let's try this out. See if I can put one of these here. If not, I'm going to have to just use some persuasion. I can play... Oh, uh, I don't, do not want to move this around. So I can place one there. Can I place it around this way? Awesome. All right, so just bump that. No, okay, I'll, I'll have to reverse this. I reckon I could get this to be quite an accurate, in an accurate spot. Let me, oh. It's a bit too far forward. There we go, That that's, that's all right. That's all right for now. That's fine. Perfect. Alright. Get out of there. Do not worry. I'm gonna fix this. 
So let's get on with some other things. I've got some other pieces that I want to get done here. I'll get rid of this. Why do I have so much junk in my inventory? Man, let me just get rid of this. I don't even have space in here to get rid of all of it. Okay, there, 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 and not that, not that. Perfect. And what I want to do here is I want to just quickly do some carpets. And also, I've got an idea over here where I want to put in one of these armor stands here. And I also want to put some iron armor on it, but I realized that I forgot the iron armor. This is all I need. I need a dispenser, and I'm going to do a, a somewhat little-known trick. It's becoming more and more a, a thing. By the way, that's the banner for the town. I've, I've been told it's a bit too bright, and I can somewhat agree. But I want maybe if, uh, if I could put maybe a bit of a gray background over there, that could be cool as well. So we do that. We do this here. We get rid of it. There we go. Immediate problem is that this over here needs to be like that. Then we'll see, because else it's kind of lost. So if I do that again, what I did there, by the way, is I using I'm using the dispenser to dispense this onto onto the armor stand because you can't right click it on, but you can dispense it on. That'll work much better. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, that's cool. Now think of it with a bit of iron armor. The reason I'm not going to use this iron armor, in fact, I, I want to quickly do this here. I want to make two of these. Just make a uh, two of those, and yeah, we'll be able to make one chest piece and another piece of leggings and some boots. Let's let's do that. That's let me do that there. Perfect. That'll be more than enough to get this armor stand looking all right. So we'll do this. Bam, bam, and bam. Yeah, it's a bit better. Perfect. All right. So that's that done. Now the next thing that I wanted to do was add in a chandelier, and also a few other things. So we're just doing smaller details here. So if we do that, grab some of these. I want to add in one of these over here. Should I push it out one block from the wall or keep it in there? I might just try it out in here. Yeah, that'll work. And then I'll also have to grab one of these here. Perfect. So this, this piece that I'm doing, what I'm doing here is I'm just putting in these small things, which I don't ever do. I'm actually very uncomfortable with building these things. But I think we, we're doing an alright job. Then, of course, a chandelier would do a great job as well. So one of them up here, and I'm not going to try and avoid that boat. There. Like that. And hopefully this can actually get to the top there. That was a mistake, but I'm going to leave it. And the cool thing about this chandelier is, look at this. You just have to click over there and it automatically puts it on that part. Wonderful. And there. Yeah, that's looking way better than it was before. It's got a little bit of life in it. Now, another thing that I want to do, and I'm pretty sure that we might be able to pull this off. The floor below us right now is... Let me just quickly confirm. Do I want to do that? I think that's all right. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've got a level between us and the next... Le no, we don't. Okay. Don't worry. Cancel that. Cancel last. I thought we had a little bit of a, a gap between that floor and the ceiling, but turns out that floor is the ceiling. It's a bit more that way and a bit more that way that we can. So that's not a problem. I just was hoping to maybe make a bit of a textured carpet, but I think we can do one on that side there, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to mess around with that. So we can just do a bit of a textured carpet, like, well, just normal carpet like this here, and maybe make it a bit more irregular. Yeah, a little bit like that. That's a bit bit more interesting than just a plain square carpet, which is which is alright, but I like that a bit more. In fact, could I maybe get rid of one of these? I, I think I saw a spot where I could do it. Over there I can. Okay, cool. Alright, so I can do stuff like this. This is what I was hoping to do. In fact, I've even brought myself some brown concrete powder in case I could have used some of that, which I think I can over here. Let me do some of this here. Let's test this out. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's nice. I like that. We can do a few things like that. No. The, really? There we go. Perfect. I was hoping to get this all the way along there. That would be so cool if I could have worked that out. That's alright. That's not a problem. The next thing that I want to do, by the way, is a bit of a map, but I don't think I have got... I should have some in here, actually. The, uh, at least one. There we go. One of these item frames here. And this map over here is actually the buried treasure map. Question mark? Where, uh, we've, we've got an island with some buried treasure on it, or, or is there? And, uh, I thought this would be kind of cool to put this map on here. I think I've just re, reoriented it the wrong direction. Let me do that. Oh, there we go. Perfect, perfect. 
All right, so I think this is looking all right. A little bit of an improvement, quite a few little things, just uh, odd, odds and bits, odds and sods, bits and pieces, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I think this is going to be all right, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode, a little bit of a different one. I wanted to do a few more smaller details. That's pretty much the whole thing about this episode was getting in the smaller details that I tend to miss pretty much everywhere. So thank you very much for watching, guys.